prefixes, suffixes, and root words. Have you ever been reading a book and come across a word that you've never seen before? Well, if you can break that word down into prefixes, suffixes, and root words, then you can probably figure out what the word means. For instance, orthography may be a word you've never seen before. But if we break it down into its prefix, ortho, its root word, graph, and its suffix, y, then we might be able to figure out what the word means. Ortho means correct or straight. Graph means write or draw. And Y means the state or condition of. So if we put all those together, we can get the state of being written correctly. And when we compare the definition we came up with with our actual definition, you can see they're pretty close. The state of being written correctly, writing words using the proper letters. So you got a pretty good idea just by breaking the words down into a prefix, a root word, and a suffix and figuring out what those meant. And even if you only knew graph had something to do with writing, you would have an idea that orthography had to do something with writing. Let's look at another example. Geometric. We'll break down into our prefix, geo, our root word, metra, and our suffix, ik. Geo means earth, and we put that with metra, which means measure, and ik means having to do with. So, if we put all of those together, we can come up with having to, to do with measuring the earth. Now, this one isn't quite as close to the actual definition relating to the branch of mathematics that has to do with measuring points, lines, and angles, but it does have measuring in there you would be able to tell from the root word measure that geometric is going to have something to do with measuring. So if you ever come across a word that you don't know, first try to figure out what the prefix is, the root word is, and the suffix is so that you can maybe get an idea of what the word means. You can see how important prefixes, suffixes, and root words are to understanding what a word means. If you need a study guide, click the book at the bottom of the page. If you want more free test videos, subscribe to us on YouTube. If you just want to keep watching, click the next video.